Hi folks, and um, it's Mother's Day, Mothering Sunday. I've just been out and unloaded the van, and, it, and it's really pouring with rain. So I kind of got a bit wet, so I've kind of, a bit like a wet old shaggy dog here. And, uh, and I've been meaning to make a video for quite a long time. And I guess the months go by, and I just haven't done it. So it's kind of well over a year since I kind of like, I, I've put a video out. Uh, and I'm always on about the creative side and, and working with the creative energy. And there's no limits to that. That's, that's the wonderful thing about it. Uh, about two and a half years ago, I, I wanted to paint a heart. And, and I kind of like, um, in, in, what the heart represents, and it's full of emotion, basically. You know, we can have a strong heart, strength of heart. Uh, it can take, so it takes us into all sorts of places. It's desire, it's compassion, love. You know, to, to have that strength of and that strong meaning. Yet at the same time can be very, very delicate. You know, you can go from the deep reds into the very into the pinks. Uh, and just symbolically, just to draw a heart shape in the sand. It's got huge, huge meanings for what it represents. And you know, that symbolism, which I'm kind of very much getting into with sacred geometry, and, and just simple form and shape. And the art shape carries a, a, a lot with that. So I kind of wanted to paint this heart. And I thought the best thing for me to do is to paint it on a kind of square canvas, because the balance could be right. So I have, a, I have a canvas about 27 and a half inches. And, and I started this picture about two and a half years ago, and it never quite felt right. And over this two and a half years, I'd have a little go on it and put more paint on it, and, and, and just kind of move through my life with painting this heart. And, and I got very much involved in kind of like laying out glazes of paint or washes of paint and thick paint and kind of putting acrylic paint and then oil paints and I moved into metal flakes and anything that I could put into this picture I've put in and slowly slowly I built up this multiple of layers and each layer I guess carries a feeling it's, it's a thought and it kind of holds that and here I am two and a half years later where I've kind of reached the point where I feel it's finished uh, and I've sat with this picture now for about, I guess, about three weeks. I, I've kind of put a high lacquered finish on it uh, because I felt it needed it. It's on a box canvas. Um, the trend really with box canvases is that you don't need to frame them. So the majority of them, are, they're not. But with this one, it's an option that is still available to actually keep it just free with the box canvas or actually to put a frame on it. And it's not your traditional frames. They're almost like they don't over, they don't take over the picture in the front. They just cover the sides basically, uh, and project a bit beyond that. But they're not like a traditional frame that kind of overlaps the front of the picture. It actually creates a gap between the frame uh, and the and the actual canvas itself. So let's kind of move on to this heart and what it kind of represents and and how and what I've done. And what I love about this heart is it's kind of like every which way you look at it. It glistens with energy. It's got, it's the way the, it's the way it all runs and merges together. And some of the things within this picture, it's kind of reacted. So in sometimes when I put something on, it kind of tried to repel it, to push it away. And I'd be left with these craters and these blemishes. And next time I put something else on, I would kind of work with that in a different way. And it kind of loved it. It wanted to absorb more, but the, all these, things that are taking place upon this canvas, it intrigued me. The way that it kind of, and even the layer, the, even the depth between the, the lighter, you know, entering into almost like an orangey color and coming into the deep, the deep reds. And, and just how it merges and mixes together. Um, I've really kind of fallen in love with this picture. Um, and, it, and it's the freedom, the freedom that is of expression within that. And I guess in a way, the other kind of thing, I guess, unconsciously, but becoming more aware of it, you know, we know that reds and pinks are of the heart, but also green is the heart chakra. So this is purely all heart energy coming in and coming through. And it just, whichever way the light, you know, and as the light is moved around, or even if you put a light on in the house, how it picks up some of these, the dynamics that is going on within this, how the colours are kind of like the flake, the way in which it's kind of turning uh, and bouncing light or not bouncing it. But just the reaction here and this and the, and the depth of varnish, the depth of glaze 
it actually creates this not just a, a 3D, I feel this is actually starting to merge now into 4D effect. Because you can actually kind of go into this picture and, you know, kind of where does that stop? This, this is kind of like, even though it's a canvas, it's actually become like a board. Because there's so much in this picture, there's so many layers to it that it's become this rigidness of depth of colour. So I'm just going to let the camera move around it a little bit, take it in those colours, and I'm sorbing it and just seeing how it reflects and moves into that. And this painting is actually, I thought that I, I wanted to hang on to this picture. And this morning it's kind of like, it's time for a new, a new owner. It's time, it's for sale. And, uh, and I thought I'd share that with you. So if anyone was interested, then it's a case of giving me a private message and working with that. It would come with a certificate of authenticity. And, um, and, it's, and it excites me so much that I want to merge this technique with more of my uh, traditional work. Bring it, I keep getting the message about my, my earlier work with the oils. And I want to explore more of this, this reaction with the old and the new and where it's going to take me. Anyway, I have a lovely mothering Sunday. And I just have a great Sunday. And uh, you'll see me again on here with more videos and chatting away and, and sharing with you what I'm doing. Take care and have a good Sunday. Bye-bye.